Did you give your coaster a bigger drop than the one that bombs the toilet after Taco Bell, only to realize bombastic G's are blue balling your profit margins? What if I said you could still make that tower and death machine bribe a passing grade? And how about I just get on with it so you can build your very own Blackout Express and Planet Coaster? Big coasters need space. Place it far to one side like that awkward kid at the 8th grade dance. Then get that first tail higher than our hopes going into 2020, and 2021 at this rate. Just a tip, keep tests running to find problem spots before completion, Bethesda. There's two ways to make the first drop work. First is brakes, but ask yourself, would you spend your parents' hard-earned money riding the debated elevator to ground level, or are you gonna rip the diapers off and straddle the chainsaw? That's what I thought. With that decided, we'll ignore brakes from here on because yo mama didn't raise a b Ignore the terror spike for now. You can make the drop as crazy steep as Apple products, but you must transition well at the bottom. Just remember, all angle changes should be minimal and over time, like a considerate roommate. Right angles are wrong. Too big too fast is very lethal and a sex crime without consent. This is because quick changes in direction ramp up the G's that you're trying to avoid like a clingy X. 5G is ideal, despite what the tinfoils say. You can even ignore a spike to 7, too. Make the first hill as large as the BP oil spill, but still shorter than the first drop. If not, your coma train won't have the juice to rocket its way over, and you want the screams to last. Again, with consent. You'll need to give the turns more tilt than a MOBA player, else those lateral Gs will explode like wheelchair stocks. Just make sure transitions are silky smooth, because who doesn't love good curves? Remember that giant fear spike? These rolling hills are your ticket. Make lots of them. The longer the ride, the more likely your guests will forget you pancaked their spinal cords on the first drop. Or an average is wonderful. Soon, your ride should resemble a millennial's bank account, slowly leveling to zero. Probably going under if you're feeling spicy. It's not unusual to have four minute or longer ride times on your first practice builds. For the riders, that's a solid minute of growing fear and excitement, followed by three minutes of disappointing cuddling. But at least it passed the test. Fear and nausea are best under a six to fool guest confidence. But there's other ways to lower them if you don't want another minute of shameful apologies. Using the smooth tool over track pieces will, surprise, smooth the track sections. This helps drop nausea. Aim for the bottom of drops in any curves. Do it enough times and the transitions will be smoother than, yep, a baby's rash-free clothes. Wait, you thought I'd say baby's bottom? I don't know about that, but why do you, hmm? Brakes? What do you mean brakes? Do I really need to explain how these work? But the ride didn't turn out that exciting, you say? No guy likes hearing that. And it does lower guest interest, too. Effective guest bait. Scenery. Put some plants. Other stuff, too. You'll find Lisa will give better Yelp reviews if there's a random ficus to rocket past at 240 kilometers an hour. Put more scenery and watch Coaster Prestige skyrocket like a cod squeaker getting carried by his team. Everything else is up to you. Price like pharma, bro. Make a building with questionable integrity. Surround a coaster with fast food to turn it into a log flume for the back car. Sky's the limit. Just don't forget to give it a fancy name before you feast on that cold hard cash. With these basics practiced, you can start getting fancier and cause far less internal hemorrhaging. So dive in and get creative. Thank you so much for your time, and have a great day everyone.